Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and happy bookish merch for readers. Today is a day that I have been waiting for for what feels like forever in a very, very, very long time and I'm going to be starting to pack up my first ever subscription boxes today. So I started a subscription box called the Emily Cromwell Designs box. It's a quarterly box and this is going to be my very first one that's going out. I did pre-orders for it about a month or so ago and it's time to ship it. This is my first time packing a subscription box so probably going to have some learning moments along the way so we'll see how it goes but today the big tasks that I need to do are laminate all the bookmarks, package up all the keychains because waitlist subscribers uh, got an exclusive product in their box so they get a keychain and pack up the notepads, the cello sleeve just so that they don't like shift around in the box during shipping and pages get bent or something like that. So and then we have to fold all the boxes and then start packing all the boxes and orders. So that's what we're doing. We are starting that today. Probably gonna take a few days to do this, but let's get into it. So these are the bookmarks that are gonna be in each box and I have to laminate all of them. This is gonna take me a while, so let's get to it. stack is finally getting smaller. We have this much left okay. and we've laminated this much so we're getting there. Go it, team. It's taken a while but we're getting there. That was wild. I just stopped to count all the bookmarks and I was just trying to figure out like how many I've done because I still have a pretty big stack that it looked like I had to get through. I had stopped on the exact number that I needed for the boxes. How weird is that? That is weird. Because originally I think I ordered like 40 to 50 extra bookmarks just to plan ahead and like in case oopsies happened or something. And this is a lot more than that. So we're gonna have some extras of these bookmarks available. <laughs> so mom is making progress. She's been working on bagging the keychains. She's getting there. These are all the ones she has done. And then these are all the ones she has left to do. So we are making our way through this. It's taking a little longer than we thought, but we're getting there. So I just realized that as I was having her pack these up that I forgot that she needs to put these stickers on that say waitlist subscriber exclusive. Uh, yeah, I gotta go back through this and put stickers on all the ones that are already packed. So that will be fun. So I decided that I should probably get a bin to put all the bookmarks in once they're done laminated because the pile is getting pretty high and knowing my clumsy self, I'm gonna knock into it, they're gonna go everywhere and I will have no one to blame but myself. So we're gonna prevent that before disaster strikes and get a bin. Hi Bernard. Ooh. All the bookmarks are laminated. It is now past noon, so that took me three hours just to laminate the bookmarks. So keychains still aren't done, notepads still aren't packed, boxes are still not folded. I'm going to take a super speedy lunch break and come back down and continue working. Okay, we are back from lunch break. Mom is back and she's still working on the keychains. I need to start working on getting the notepads all bagged up. So that's gonna be my next task. I'm gonna need to do like a five hours later. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Hello, meanwhile, mom's still over here. <laughs> mom's still packing keychains. Why isn't it saying my name? <laughs> it's 
Say my name. Say my name. <laughs> <laughs> say my name. Say my name. All right notepads are done my poor mom she's still working on the keychains but she's almost done I'm so grateful for her help she's yeah this would take me a lot longer if she wasn't here so i'm done packing up the notepads and let's see what do i have left i think the individual packing of products it'll be all done once the keychains are finished so i'm actually yeah i think i'm gonna start on the boxes so i'm thinking i want to fold all the boxes in advance Gonna be a bit of a task but I'm up for the challenge so let's do this I'm gonna be here a while. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll come out. Wanna help, Toad? Yeah. Look how cute! Yeah. Alright, Toad, we need a picture of you with a box, okay? Look at the camera! Toby! Toby! Over here! Toby! Oh, you're such a good boy! Good boy! You're so handsome! Yeah, I'm just observing today. I'm not helping. I'm just here for decoration. <laughs> He's got his perch up on my shipping table. Toby's all set up on the notepad table. Mm -hmm. Say, I'm being a helper today, aren't I? All right, I got a bit distracted by the cute flock in the studio, but we're back to packing boxes, or I should say folding boxes. <laughs> that was bound to happen at some point. Okay, so we got about two thirds of the boxes, not packed, but folded and ready to go for tomorrow. I'm trying to angle myself here if you can see them all. So we have on the floor here, that's all we have left to fold tomorrow. So I'm gonna fold the rest of the boxes when I watch Love Island tonight. And then I will be back in the studio tomorrow to start packing. I was originally hoping to start packing the boxes today but took a little bit longer than I was expecting. I'm wiped out, I'm tired, so gotta chill for a bit. We'll be back in the studio tomorrow. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know where to start with all this. This is my first time ever packing a subscription box. I do the monthly clubs, which is just bookmarks and stickers, but a box is a whole other beast. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed, but in a really good way. So I guess we're just gonna kind of learn as we go here. So these are the scrunchies. Instead of keeping them in the bag, because I want to keep all products on the table as we're packing to make things easier, I found two small bins, one for scrunchies, one I'm going to put washi tape in. And then as I pack boxes, I'll just go in and replenish as needed. These are so cute. I love the feel of these. Shout out to Fable Bands for bringing these to life for me. I'm so obsessed with them. I love them. All 
right, this is all the washi tape for the box. We got a lot of washi tape and that set. Ooh, I just realized my nails kind of match the colors. <laughs> All right, I don't even know where to begin, so we're just gonna dive in. I have the assembly line all set up, so we're just gonna go, and eventually I'm gonna find my groove. All right, box number one. All right, here we go. Ah! Oh, that's perfect, okay. I'm not the best at folding tote bags, so. I apologize in advance. <laughs> okay, how do you fold a tote bag? I don't know why this is so hard for me, but I'm struggling. Okay, how do you fold a tote bag? Hey, there's a video! Ooh, pictures, step by step. Okay, lay it flat, fold it up, hot dog style, then hamburger style. All right, we're gonna try this again. This long way, Stick this way. Yeah, I could just do that. I feel like that's too small though. I don't want it totally small. These are the moments where I need my mom here because she'd be like, oh, Emily, you do it like this, like in a snap. And I'd be like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Meanwhile, I'm over here struggling for my life to figure this out. This should not be as challenging as it is. Emily, get it together. Let's do that. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Fits in there good. Mark, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <laughs> this is so fun. Just get to go down the assembly line. All right, scrunchy. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. All right, and they were a waitlist subscriber, so they get a keychain. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to show you guys. All right, so this is everything packed up. We have the tote bag first. And then we have the notepad, and we have sticky notes, and we have the laminated bookmark, and then we have our scrunchy washi tape, and then a waitlist subscriber keychain. I won't cry because I don't want to make you guys feel weird, but I might cry off camera because I, oh my gosh. This is literally a dream come true right now. Oh my gosh. Ah, almost forgot the crinkle paper. It's funny because it's so full that you don't even need crinkle paper. But I bought crinkle paper, so by golly, we are gonna use it. The crinkle paper for a little pizzazz. Yay! All right, now we can use the sticker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just spent a full two minutes talking to the camera and it wasn't even on. It's not even 11 a.m. folks. <laughs> As I was saying when the camera was not on is every customer gets a personalized thank you postcard welcoming them to the box and on the back just goes over like what's inside the box and then for this specific box since it's my first one every customer is getting a surprise 25% off thank you coupon just as a thank you for believing in me and purchasing my first box. So I thought it'd be really fun because the theme for this box is late night reading and it's just supposed to give off that kind of like magical feeling. And I bought some like holographic glitter star confetti pieces and I'm not putting a lot in each box but I just wanted to do like a dusting, a sprinkle if you will, um, a little bit of kind of like magicalness. There's the first box packed. Okay, we got one box packed and 292 to go. <laughs> so the one weird thing about subscription boxes, especially one like this size and the name of the box and your art is like on the top cover, is you have to ship them upside down because the shipping label goes on the bottom because you can't put it on the top. And I'm not used to shipping things upside down. And I remember when I was like taking this class to learn how to like have a subscription box business. I didn't see that talked about anywhere and I just like asked, I was like, this may be a dumb question, but where does the shipping label go on the box? And then I found out it goes upside down. So the good thing is though, is they're like jam packed full. So nothing's moving, but yeah, 
Fun fact, fun fact for the day. So I feel like I've packed more than I actually have and I looked down here and I've only packed 10. <laughs> I'm over here packing and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm moving at the speed of lightning. I've gotten so many done. And I only did 10 of 293. <laughs> I'm on the floor again. I'm thinking I might uh, take a break to go get some electrolytes. I'm feeling a bit fainty from standing for so long. So, short intermission. And I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. We are rejuvenated and I think I'm just gonna put on some music and just jam out and have a super long marathon packing session. Here we go. Hey guys, it is about 4 p.m. at this point. I am gonna take a dinner break and um, a sitting break because I'm realizing for next time around, I need to pack on my higher shipping tables. Originally I didn't do it because I have all of my like organizers there, but I'm gonna need to figure something out because I'm in pain from using the shorter tables and having to bend over. So gonna take a little break, eat some food, and then I'm gonna be back in the studio Probably my mom too this evening to just keep on packing. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. So I can't remember if I even showed you guys what products are in the box. I, I filmed this whole video so far and I'm over here packing. I'm like, did I show them close ups? So here's some close ups of what's in the box. So the theme is, if you couldn't tell, late night reading. So these are the products that are gonna be in the boxes and I will show you them unfolded so you can see everything. So here we have the tote bag. So it's late night reading vibes and then it says all these different things that go along with late night reading. So like light of the moon, magical cozy lights, need your bookmarks, soft and fluffy PJs, absolute must, and all sorts of fun stuff. 
And then this is the notepad. So every box going forward, every quarter, there's always going to be a notepad, um, sticky notes, and a bookmark, like guaranteed in every box. And then two to three other products that change every quarter. And these are the post-it notes. So we've got a little magical path all the way up to the bookshop. And this is the bookmark. So we've got a little cozy reading nook on a background cityscape. And then we've got some late night reading scrunchies. So this is a pattern that I illustrated and Fable Band sewed it. And we've got some washi tape. So it's book stacks floating on a cloud. And then we have a waitlist subscriber exclusive keychain. I'm sorry, I just have to gush over this one more time because just finally seeing all the designs and the products together in the box is just the coolest thing for me. Look how cute they all look together. Everybody that ordered one, I hope you guys love it. <laughs> okay, mom is back in the studio and she is on shipping label duty, which is going to be a huge help because I've gotten a lot of boxes packed, but I have probably, let's see, I got, I don't even know, a fourth done. So I have three fourths more to do. So she's going to be buying all the labels, putting the labels on, and I'm going to keep on packing. <laughs> All right, it is past 8 p.m. at this point. I've been at this very, very, very long time. I'm exhausted, as you can probably tell on my face, so didn't get as far as I thought I would today, but I got far enough. So gonna call it a day today, and we will be back at it tomorrow. So we have officially entered day three of packing the subscription boxes. It is Saturday morning. I can't tell you the last time I packed orders on a weekend, so this feels super weird to not just be chilling, but that's all right, because I want to get these done. Today also happens to be the launch day of my mystery grab bags and my summer strawberry lemonade book stack scrunchies. So that'll go live, let's see, yes, very, very soon at 11. Besides that launch today, we are just packing again. Uh, we made a lot of progress yesterday and I'm hoping we get them all done today. If I put myself on autopilot and Energizer Bunny, I might be able to crank them all out. So we'll see and if not, I will have to finish up tomorrow because my mailman said he will do a big batch pickup uh, both Monday and Tuesday. So I'm not sure if they have to bring a second truck to fit them all on there because there's a lot of boxes, uh, but we'll see. Do you guys see what I mean? Honestly, it looks like I didn't even make a dent. Look at that. And I literally spent all day yesterday packing. It's wild. <laughs> Okay, it is grab bag time. It's a few minutes before 11. We already have a lot of people waiting on the site and I always get so excited when I see that. So I am gonna make sure 
that everything is ready to go and then it's gonna be launch time here in a few minutes. We have 23 people waiting right now. Whoa. Uh, that was officially the most stressful launch I have ever had. You know how those days where technology is just not on your side? Today was one of those days. In all my years of being on Shopify, I have never had this happen, but the launch went live and only half the people could see the products and the other half of the people on the site, I kept getting message after message right when the launch went live saying it's saying no products, but orders were coming in from so many people, but some people couldn't see it. And like, I went on my computer and on my desktop, it showed no products in this collection, but I go on my phone and it showed all the products. So then while the launch is happening and I'm getting all these messages like, they're not there, where are they? They're not there. And I'm already stressing out. I'm like quickly trying to get on Shopify chat support. I was like in all caps, I'm like, help me. <laughs> I was like shaking like a chihuahua. I was so overwhelmed. That was stressful. I've never had that. It seems to be what happened. There must be like an outage or a glitch in Shopify somewhere because there was a lag. And like, even when I went to update the collection now and like move this product, to the front of the line and another product to the back. It took like five minutes for that to update on the site. So it looks like there was like a five minute lag for when everything went up. So the launch didn't go the way I wanted it to, but it still went very well in terms of sales. So that was good. That was stressful. Okay, I need to try to like de-stress from that because that was... <sighs> so I feel like I'm finally making a dent in this area of the boxes. I'm finally pulling from these boxes to start getting packed, so we are making progress. Okay. Ah! I think it's just gonna be one of those days today. Oh wow, this person bought three boxes. Oh my gosh, thank you. All right, here we go. I think I'm gonna pack these side by side. Might be a bit easier. So mom has been a rock star and while I took a lunch break, she has finished all of these boxes. Look at that. We're making progress. <laughs> Go team. Okay, we have one last box to ship and then we are done. Why are you people laughing? Why are you, why are you guys laughing? Why are you laughing? Group hug. Bring it in, guys. All right, here we go. I couldn't have finished without you guys. Thank you, guys. Chris, <laughs> bring it in. Ah. Sammy. <laughs> All right, high five. Oh my gosh. All right, team. I'm so high tired. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Now I've got to go be a mashed potato. <laughs> Not move for a very long time.
I cannot believe it, but we are finally finished packing up every single subscription box. We had 293 to pack. It took three days. Honestly, I thought it was gonna take probably four or five, so I'm pretty proud we did it in three, but I'm definitely feeling it. Uh, I'm very tired. Everything hurts, but it's a good hurt because I had the best time packing all these and I had so much fun. I had mom in the studio with me the whole three days. Chris came down today. We were all hanging out, talking, laughing, had music on. It was fun. I still have to pinch myself that I get to do this for a job. It's the coolest thing and I'm so grateful to you guys for supporting me and allowing me to do my job by buying my things, supporting me, all your sweet comments. So this was amazing. I I don't know how long this video is going to end up being. It's probably going to be a very long video. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this crazy journey. This was the July box that we packed up. This is a quarterly box so the next box is going to be in October and it'll ship end of October but you can actually purchase it now so if you're interested in getting the Emily Cromwell Designs box the theme for October is going to be fall at the bookstore so it's going to be a really fun fall cozy theme and I can't wait to show you guys the designs. I've been starting to sketch them already so that um, you can get in my shop if you want to get in in advance or if you want to wait. I announced the theme. I think it's going to be sometime in September. I'm going to like finally reveal all the designs that are going to be in it. But okay, I am going to go probably hibernate for a week. <laughs> so I hope you guys are reading some amazing books and that you're all doing super well. Thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.